Importing a Fundraiser Wallet If you've participated in the Tezos Fundraiser in the summer of 2017, you can use the Galleon Wallet app to activate your fundraiser account and start using your funds. You will need three things to import your fundraiser address. One, a Tezos Wallet file. Two, your fundraiser PDF. And three, your activation code. In our last video, we showed how to create a Tezos wallet file. Please make sure that you have already created a wallet file before we proceed. If you haven't created it yet, please watch our Creating and Loading a Wallet video. You will need to reference your fundraiser PDF to import your fundraiser wallet. Please go ahead and open it now so you can copy and paste all the required information. You should have an activation code from the Tezos KYC AML process. An activation code corresponds to a public key hash and is required if you participated in the fundraiser. You may complete the process at verification.tezos.com if you have not done so already. Once you are on the Add an Account screen, pick the Import Fundraiser Wallet option. Manually enter or copy and paste the 15-word secret key, public key hash, and email address from the fundraiser PDF. Enter the password you used during the fundraiser. Finally, enter the activation code you obtained through the KYC AML process and click the Import button to import your fundraiser wallet. It will take some time for the wallet to activate your account for first use. This process might take up to a couple of minutes depending on the congestion of the network. Now that your account is ready, you will see your fundraiser public key hash and your current balance. This is your manager address and you can use it to make transactions and delegate. If you are not able to successfully import your fundraiser account, even after double-checking all your entries, it is likely you have entered an incorrect password. Please go to any of the online Tezos communities to ask for assistance.